What a trip to get here. My goodness gracious, that was so cool. It was one of the, I've driven all over the world, all over the United States. I've gone back and forth across the United States hundreds of times. And man, that drive over the Andes Mountains coming down into what basically is Arizona and then taking uh, that, that turn and seeing the lake. And we'll show you guys all this footage on the vlog, but it was just one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. So anyway, we're in Mendoza. Now our challenge is to find the gold dealer. And then I've got a couple gold coins and some silver coins that we're going to try to get dollars for. So we've spent enough time in Argentina. And I've talked to enough people to know that it's like I figured it's all about getting dollars. We don't want pesos. In fact, the Argentinians don't want pesos. And we're going to have to find a hotel tonight that's going to take cash. But I actually don't think it's going to be difficult. Uh, coming from the States, you know, that mindset that we have, there's probably very few hotels that would take cash back there. But here, and we'll see, maybe it's going to be a problem. But I, I would be shocked if it was. So the next step is going around the corner here and finding this gold shop, which we saw it on the map, but now it's just it's a shoe store. So <laughs> it's kind of the crazy part of the adventure. So where is it, Josh? Um, well, I don't have my maps up. It's supposed to be just right up here. Yeah, so the plan is to go into this gold. And you know what's going to be interesting is if they'll buy the gold and silver, which I'm sure they will, but the, at what price? And are they going to give me dollars? Because, like everyone else, I mean, I don't want uh, Argentinian pesos because you don't know what they're going to be worth tomorrow. It's supposed to be like right here. But it, they also are not open right now. So, so where's the sign now? See the sign? Oh, no. But that's the shoe store that they're supposed to be at. What's the name of the place? I know you were the one that sent it to me. No, the, the name, this doesn't look like what I sent you. The name of the place is... Uh, when I looked it up, it was the same name that you sent me. But... This is the address that they had. And no, this is... This is It's, so this is what we're looking for, but this is the address on their website. They had a website? It surprised me they even had a website. Here, why don't we... Um, well, you know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we walk down the street to that one place that looked really, really cool. It looks like a street here where all the bars and restaurants and cafes, everyone's sitting outside. The weather here is gorgeous, by the way. And... Uh, That'll let me look it up on the phone. I know what I Googled is... Well, if you look up that address, I mean, that name on, the, on Google, you'll find something. They're also closed right now. They, they open from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and then close for a few hours and open back up at 4.30. And in Argentina right now, it's 4.11. Yeah, so... Yeah, I've got to figure out what I used to Google it yesterday. Just search the name. No, it's, it's... That came up for me when I searched it. Yeah, but you got to make sure that you're searching the right location, too. It was the exact same picture that they had on their website that you showed me. So here's what we're looking for, Shane. If you look up Jewelria, Jewelria. it's not Jewelria, it's Joy. Joyeria, Sansi. Joyeria. Here's Shane, he's coming for the red trip. Hello? Well, this is awkward. No, it's just, it's, this is not the right place, Josh. When you search it up. I'll show you on my Google once we end this live stream. I'm gonna walk down. Past that blue sign, I just checked out. Looking for something that looks like a drawer.
Wait a minute. This looks like the moon. Is that not the same name? Okay, well, we'll have to come back with a, another live stream, I guess. This is, uh, actually, why don't we walk down this way? Because at least we can show everyone what it looks like on that main street. It looks really cool because the other thing I want to do with this trip is use it as like an intel gathering for Plan B stuff as well. So, you know, since we're kind of walking around aimlessly here at Googling, why don't we walk down to that street so everyone can see what, it's, what the city looks like. Change. I'm going to walk down this way. So why don't you just do that? You can just kind of like, like vlog as we're walking down the street. That one little. Let's go down that one avenue where we saw all the restaurants and everything. At uh, least there is a Joyeria on the other block. Uh, it's not the same one, but it says Joyeria Universal. Yeah, they have them all over. Oh. So it's just some weird name. Yeah. yeah. I feel so wrong watching, walking around recording everybody right now. <laughs> uh. That way? that way? Yeah, let's look at this one street here. I've got to pull up on the map. Okay. Yeah, they just... I see someone in the chat saying, where's Doug Casey? He's in Buenos Aires. So we're actually trying to get to him, which is still a few days away. We're in Mendoza. Yeah, it was exactly where I, I told you it was. It's kind of like, uh, but they, they're just saying like this though. Yeah. Did you ask him for the Santee place? Yeah. 
I showed him the photo that you showed me. Oh, so he okay. Like and he said it was just down. He okay. They open up at 4.30. Couldn't supposedly. understand what you're saying. Though, but yeah. So we'll have to go back there and check out the All right, we'll, we'll, the we'll go down this one street and loop back around. That'll be perfect time. I'm curious what we can get out of it. So if they're if they're using the ATM, they're getting the official exchange. They're getting screwed. Yeah. It's not as bad as it was a few months ago. The rate you would get. Is this the street? No, it's still a few down. So I don't think people are going to know what you mean by that, by official and unofficial. Well, I think I don't know what's happened since Millet has, has been in office, but prior to that, they had like an official government exchange rate that was whatever, call it eight hundred. The one, but then if you so if you go to an ATM, you get that. But if you go to the black market, you get dollars. Those dollars are going to be worth double. So you'd get let's say sixteen hundred or two thousand pesos to the uh, to the dollar. So that's what makes things rather difficult to transact. But you know another thing too, if you think of hyperinflation, you think of just like Weimar Germany and people. Stealing everything, around. yeah. Yeah, like people chasing dogs to eat and just, you know, people living in the street. And this, There's not, I haven't seen a single homeless person, which if you were in any major U.S. town. No, it's not just that. This is like, look, you got shaded streets, you got these little, I mean, this is exactly like walking through Little Rock. No. So what has happened is people just lived with with insanity of uh, their government for so long that they just now deal, I'm guessing mostly in dollars, where, you know, it's suboptimal. I'm not saying that uh, it wouldn't be better off, but like, look, I mean, you have McDonald's, <laughs> it's like just totally... <laughs> See, he's looking for change, so that's interesting. Cambio's change. So I don't know if he was looking for, I don't know if he's looking for some sort of uh, currency exchange. Or what will be interesting is when we go up on this, I think next street, take a right, that's where all these restaurants and cafes are. It's kind of like a trendy area. It's going to blow you guys' mind. Oh, it's incredible. I'm just wondering what the, uh, like the prices, and I'm very curious to see that. And if they'll help, like if one is in Turkey, they'd have one price in lira and another price in dollars, or a lot of the places that you go to would just only have prices in dollars. They wouldn't even have prices in lira. In lira. Yeah, it's gonna be right up here. And these are all nice stores that we're walking by. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is... Should we just walk in the middle of the street so we get everything? Yeah, this is incredible. this is just a regular Monday too. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, this is just like any nice little quaint town that you go to in the United States. They want ice cream. And... <laughs> if you look at the buildings, Josh. So I think what's interesting right off the bat is look at every single thing that we over here. Thank you over here. You notice what they have in common? So you know you notice know what they have in common, right? What? They're all chalkboards. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they change every day. They have live music. So like I was saying, this is like every single nice little quaint town in the United States. Like I could drop you right here and you'd never know. The weather's, except it's a thousand times cheaper. And I would argue probably a lot safer as well. The weather's just absolutely perfect. Let's go back here because I saw like a bank of uh, ATMs. I want to kind of see what's going on. 
but I can guarantee you that's why they're using chalkboards for everything. It does seem to be a nice little ball. Yeah, it's just like a little teeny. Ignore it. Okay, so why don't we go up here so we can... What, what we're really looking for is a Bitcoin ATM. That's, that would be a perfect, perfect, perfect. So I've never used one before, but from what I understand, it's just basically an ATM. You take your QR code there that you got on your app on your phone, which I've got loaded up, and you just show the QR code. And basically, it spits out. The only problem here is it probably spit out pesos. It would. It would spit out pesos, and they would screw us on the Bitcoin exchange. Probably. Oh, okay. You'd get double screwed. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to get just completely bent over. What would be the ideal here is to exchange whatever you're exchanging for dollars, because like I, I don't know if I said this on a live stream or what we were recording for the vlog, but. We asked those people right when we crossed the border. And, you know, what they literally said to me, and I didn't really, you know, say what we were doing or anything like that. And I just asked them if we'd be able to use dollars throughout the, the majority of our trip. And they said, oh, absolutely. They said, what you don't understand is for us, dollars are like gold. And they literally used those words. So they're like the people's gold here in Argentina are, are dollars. So anyone would love to have your dollars. But the problem we have right now is we can't, if we could find one of those darn Bitcoin ATMs, that would be awesome if they spit out dollars. But again, who knows if they do. I don't know if it's because we're white or because we're recording that every single person is staring at us. They probably, probably they probably don't see too many gringos probably here, both. nor recording obnoxiously. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what's cool about Mendoza as well, because a lot of times if you come to Medellin now, because there's so many tourists. Medellin, I would say Bogota, uh, Cartagena, Panama City. You know, it's gonna be nothing but gringos, which is cool. But if you're someone that really wants to kind of experience like the local culture and whatnot, and just get that authenticity, it seems like this would be a really good place to do it. Because to your point, I think they're looking at us, I don't think because you know we, we look any different, but I think uh, they probably never hear people speak English. Or, very or, or just, like, we're clearly Americans looking at us. Yeah, that's true. There's no question in that. Yeah, I don't exactly look like a local. Although I would stand out a lot less here than I stand out in Colombia. Yeah, the people are much lighter skinned. Yeah, people are darker skinned in Colombia and they're a lot shorter. Here, people, again, it looks just like any normal American town. Yeah. What's amazing is I have not been to an American city like this that has not been flooded with homeless people recently. You yeah. don't spend much time there. And another but... thing that's really cool is it's clean. It's yeah. It's super clean. I mean, that one... A little graffiti here and there, but it's very clean. Actually, it looks like they got like a farmer's market up here. Let's go check that out. Like, if you were looking for a plan B you will spend more time here tomorrow but this could be high on your list because I would assume and I'd have to talk to like my buddy Chris Martinson because I know he I've done the research or maybe Doug knows too when we go to Buenos Aires and talk to Doug I would assume that this city is pretty self-sufficient when it comes to food because it's so famous for wine so you know if they're growing steak. all the grapes here and doing all that I don't know why they wouldn't grow a lot of other food here as well and if they, even if they don't, I'm sure very little of it's imported. And uh, obviously they don't have a problem with water yeah. because <laughs> it comes straight down over the Andes Mountains where we grow today. But it is remarkably clean. Wow, super clean. It's amazing. Yeah, so this is going to be, is this a park or? I don't know. This it's it's really definitely cool. a little farmer's market going on and a bunch of shops. It's, yeah, this will be fun to check out. 
See, I've got a knack for this stuff. I really do. I've got a knack for finding kind of where the action is whenever I come to a town I've never been. I've always been like that. But this is, this is really good. It is going so, you know, pretty spontaneous. Maybe that's why, I don't know. You're saying you didn't plan this out every detail, George? No, <laughs> yeah. no honestly, we were trying to go to the gold shop and then I just like, let's go over here and let's go here. And Oh, look at this fountain, this is really neat. Yeah. This is about as oh, like, chill as it gets right here. Yeah. You know, another interesting thing as well is unlike the United States, you know, there's no yelling or screaming or people fighting or, you know, to your point, homeless people everywhere. I, I, I just is very tranquil. I am shocked that there's no homeless. Not like a single person. The States, there'd be, this would be flooded. There'd be 40 homeless dudes in there taking a bath. <laughs> I don't know about that. But. And the people are so nice. Yeah, that's true. Every single interaction we've had. Yeah, even with the cops. Yeah. The cops nice. Just the most pleasant people of all time. This is about as chill as it gets right here. Why don't we move back around to the, the vendors so we, the people can see what they're selling at the farmer's market. Does everybody have a picnic? Does anybody have any questions? Can you see if there's questions in the chat? I think what I'll probably do as well, each day when we get done, I'll probably do like a summary live stream or maybe like every other day. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of give everyone my thoughts. Yeah, someone said it looks like Spain. It just looks exactly like Barcelona. People are asking if it's cheap dollar-wise. Oh. We haven't bought Gosh. anything, but it's it incredibly free. I know Santiago was ridiculously cheap in dollars, and I'd imagine this is even cheaper. So that's something we'll give you an update on tonight, maybe, or tomorrow, when we can actually spend some time and you know, go back and forth to the hotel room. And buy and stuff. Oh, they said to ask someone how much rent is here. That's a that's a pretty good idea. Rent? Yeah, how much it is to rent an apartment? Let me try to find someone that looks like they'd know. I don't know how to say that though. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'd have to look up how to pronounce it. I know what the word is, so if I see a sign, I would know that mm -hmm. it was for rent. But I don't know how to pronounce the word. Oh yeah, they got a bunch of leather products here. And when I tell you everybody is staring at us. <laughs> Yeah, more of handmade leather stuff here. This is Amethyst. I could try to find a price of one of these bags. They don't even have oh, it. Oh, look at this. Silver. Ah, hola. Mis plata trabajaba. Okay. Entonces, uh, se vende silver? Mm-hmm. Or yo... Todo silver. Si, se vende yo compro silver or solo jewelry? Silver. Solo. Ah, no, no. Pepitas de plata, si no? Yeah. Like... Oh, wow. Oh. Es... Bueno. No, no. Plata. But two, so no, no compro. No compro, no. Just se vende. Wow, wow. ¿Cómo se dice? Is this jewelry in español? Ajá. Joyería. 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 Okay. All right, listo. ¿Y a cuánto lo vendes? ¿A cuánto lo vendes? A cuatro. Cuatro mil. No, de cuatro. Uh, 
Yo tengo cuatro. Tenés cuatro de esas. Ajá. ¿Y cuánto vale cada una? How much? How much? How much does it cost? Uh, in dollars? In dollars? Maybe 20 y 5. 25. 25. 25. ¿Y cuánto pesa? ¿Tenés idea? Yo tengo 4. Pero yo necesito. Se vende. ¿Me la mostrás? Para dólares. ¿Puede ser? Es un uh, ounce de plata. ¿Cuál es? Un ounce. Mm -hmm. Ay, me encanta. Ya, ya vale 5 dólares. ¿Tiene dólares? Tengo 5. No sé si. She's asking how much you sell. I, I know how. Yeah, of course, I. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably 22. 22? Sí. A ver cuánto tengo. Capaz que necesito de tus 5 dólares. You're gonna buy it, baby. Wow. The most pleasant interaction ever. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's an ounce. Watch it. That's probably like 10 ounces or something. No, it's one <laughs> ounce. It's one ounce. <laughs> Tengo 17 y te puedo dar 5 en argentinos. Uh, ¿Cuánto? Tengo 17 y te puedo dar 5 mil argentinos. ¿Cuánto es el exchange rate? 850. ¿Pero cuál es el real exchange rate? Well, that's, that's what we know online. No tengo más dólares. No tengo más dólares. We could probably use some Argentine pesos, though. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Five. Do you need those mass dollars? No. No? I would say take it. So, for 15, the... 16, 17. What are they saying? 18, she's, too, 18, she's too nice not to take it. Oh, okay. 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 Este vale más que el de un dólar. El de un dólar vale 900 pesos acá. Okay, entonces, ¿cuántos? ¿Cuántos? Es un, un dólar? Un dólar son 900 pesos y estos son mil. Okay, te entonces, estoy dando 500 pesos de más. Okay, 22.500 te estoy pagando. Pequeño más. más uh... Sí, el, el, los billetes pequeños eh, valen eso. No sé. Ok. Bueno, All right. me encantó. Gracias, gracias. Gracias a vos, un gusto. <laughs> Adios. All right, cool. That was awesome. So we're working it here. That's what the CBDC road trip to, what is it? The road trip to freedom, freedom challenge. <laughs> That's it. All right, great. Maybe we just start going to these little silver dealers and start hustling. Yeah, so I think it's, I mean, you guys can tell me in the chat what silver's uh, selling for right now. I think it's like 22 or 23. Yeah, we actually got a pretty good, probably a better deal than if we went to the gold shop. Yeah, I was, initially I was going to tell her I'd sell for 20, just to give her a little bit of a spread. But then I'm like, ah, she's probably going to haggle a little bit. Yeah, no, she, so she was so great. I'll say 22 and then, you know, try to bring her up. So I figured she'd lowball me. Yeah, no, but. I think even with the black market exchange, because yeah. we got $17. How, and how many and pesos? 5,000 pesos. Yeah, dude, that's a good deal. Ounce of silver is what, 25 US dollars? Yeah. So Ask people in the chat what a what it's silver is. It's trade. 25, but I had to buy it before we came, and it was I had probably to buy it for 27 because you're buying it at yeah, a premium. We're getting screwed there, so we're really only getting like yeah. Because when you buy you silver and gold, to sell it. You gotta to buy it yeah. You it. pay you buy it for a premium, you sell it for a loss. Yeah. But what's what was silver trading for right now? About 25. 25. So if we were able to sell it for anywhere near 25, that would be a huge score because yeah. basically we're not paying the... Yeah. I mean, we got about 23. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was expecting. Assuming that was an ounce of silver. That's the it, it, it was an ounce of silver. I got 20 ounces. That, sure? That's a one ounce coin. I'm 100% sure. Okay. So another good thing too is that we have... Okay, so this is what's good about coins, or what's good about having like a, a silver thing that is. So this is a Canadian. What is that? You should know. Canadian maple. I say like Canadian, yeah, silver maple leaf. Okay, so that's another lesson learned here: is that if this would have just been a piece of silver without any markings, she probably wouldn't have bought it. 
That's why I bought them. Like because that. she wouldn't have known that it was yeah. legit. Royal Canadian Mints, one of the best mints in the world. Yeah, so when she saw this, she knew that it was legit, so that's why she was willing to buy it. So that's kind of a, a lesson right there. If you're going to have silver that you want to transact with, uh, having coins or something like this is a lot better than if it was just in a, a little bar or something. Yeah. The weather is couldn't be any better right now. It is spectacular. It's, pro what do you think? it's probably 70, what do you think, Shane? 78 degrees. degrees. Maybe 70. I don't think it's 80. No, it's, I'd say 77, 78. 70s. Oh, it's around 28 Celsius. 28 Celsius? And every single interaction we've had with any Argentine is exactly like that very woman. Pleasant people. I'm, I've been shocked with how nice they are. Oh, they're, they're just nice, they're very pleasant. It's a little yeah. bit of a difference. It's nice. Yeah, this is great. All right, so now, why don't we make our way back? Yeah, that's the silver. That, that's what I got. Just because I thought that'd be the most recognizable. Not silver needles? Those were trading it more expensive. But they would they would let me buy some like junk silver for 24 an ounce. Okay, so this is just more of the playground. Of the park. Yeah, there's more park. All just more fun things to do. 440. Okay, so that uh, jeweler, the main one, should be open right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know how to get back to the car. No, you don't. Yeah, we would just, I, I, I promise you, I could get us back to the car. I know it's this way. They have no faith in me. We would go this way, take a left, and then it's actually closer that way. No faith. So there's a Hertz, watch out, watch out. So there's a Hertz right there, just from our experience. Never, ever use Hertz. They are the worst company I have ever dealt with as far as, maybe there's different ownership in the United States. Maybe there's franchise or something like that, but man, they were just, they've been a nightmare. Where Shane's rental car place sits, the complete opposite you got like white glove service the whole yeah time. <laughs> what was it called uh, i can't remember off that y s i'll have to tell you guys ls y rentals i'll yeah, post it i'll have to tell you guys in the chat or in the live stream tomorrow night or something like that because we want to throw anyone the business that does a great job yeah and i the drive could not have been any better oh, so could you think wait, of no wait till you guys see the vlog you're going to completely i mean you're just gonna be blown away. That's, I cannot articulate what it was like, so I'm not even gonna try it. You've just gotta see the vlog and just sit down and grab some popcorn and enjoy. What's really surprising to me is that drive isn't famous. Yeah. Like I've never heard about it before and I think it's like a bucket list item. Now that I've, now that I've been, it was a bucket list Are item. sure? So we go down here and 100%, left, right? Yeah, okay. 100%. This will be closer to the car. So what other questions do we have now that we're walking back to the gold dealer or the jeweler? Someone said you couldn't find a silver shop, Josh. Good luck getting to the car. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are you guys using credit cards at all? No, we are. No, that's the whole point of the trip. The, the whole point. About? No, but we're not using credit cards. Only gold, silver, Bitcoin and exchanging it for cash. We did actually get some cash because we had hundreds and they wanted 20s. Oh, that's another funny story. So when we were at that DMV place crossing the border, then we went to that little snack shop right there. Uh, we had just, I don't know, like three or 400 bucks, something like that. And they actually, I asked them, you know, the change that you keep, do you keep it in dollars or pesos or whatever? And they pull out their drawer, all dollars, all dollars. And they're like, hey, do you guys have any hundreds that we could exchange? Because we've got a lot of 20s, but we need some hundreds to take to the bank. So we were able to get some change um, because right there in Argentina, they had, you know, $200 worth of change in 20s. Now, is it this street or is it the next one down? I think it's a few streets down. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to end this because my Wi-Fi is gonna run out in about, I had 250 minutes for the month. Oh, we can go to my phone if you want. 
and then I wanted to do the live stream of me going into the, the jeweler. Well, maybe they'll just have to tune in for the vlog for that. <laughs> All right, that'll be a good teaser for the vlog. Yeah. That's what we're doing next, obviously. Yeah, so we're going to go exchange the silver and gold for some for some We're going to try to gold next. I didn't want to tell that gal about the gold. Yeah, well, she wouldn't. I mean, that's way too much money. You never know. She yeah. could have. Yeah, just whipped out a few hundreds on us. Yeah, why not? But I just wanted to go start with the silver first. If we can do the gold, that'll be perfect because that'll give us plenty of money for the hotel room tonight. But yeah, whoever asked about the credit card, that's the whole point of this trip is to transact outside of the system to give you guys an idea of how to navigate a CBDC world. So if you don't want Klaus to know every single thing that you're doing, this is this can be an option for you, but you got to prepare for it now. I think it's one more down. I could be mistaken. Either. Yeah, All right, why don't you uh, cut it off, Josh, and then we can just, I'll do a wrap up tonight and then we can uh, do the rest of the footage on the vlog. Yeah, all right, so if you guys want to see the incredible, absolutely astounding road trip. You know, you're just following along. All right, well, I got to end this. I got to end this off. You got to watch the vlog that we do on it.